Let's look at the question. Implement string. We are given two strings, needle and haystack. The first example, we input haystack is hello and needle is ll. So the needle was found. This is our first situation. We just return the index of the first occurrence of needle in the haystack. In this case, we output 2 because the index of the first L is 2. The second example, we input haystack is AAA and the needle is BBA. So this is our second situation. The needle wasn't found, we just return negative 1. So every time if the needle isn't part of haystack, we output negative 1. And I need to clarify here, what should we return when the needle is an empty string? This is a great question to ask during the interview. This is our third situation. The needle doesn't exist. For the purpose of this problem, when the needle is an empty string, we just return 0. This is consistent to C's, STR, and Java's index of. So first, let's declare h for haystack and n for needle. Then we know the names of the haystack and the needle. So we can set two point technique. The first point is an outside loop i pointer, and it will loop uh, outside uh, along the haystack. And j is for a loop inside is in the needle. So let's run our outside loop. i start from 0. In the first time, l is not equal to h. j is pointer on 0. But this time, we just skip. And in the next iteration, i is moved to the index 1. But uh, l is not so, also not equal to e. And we need to know that uh, j is, is also equal to 0 because the needle is uh, moved move along. And so the first and the second iteration, the h at i plus j is not equal to the n at j. So we just skip without the inside loop. So let's keep move on. This time i is pointed at index 2 and j is also pointed at 0. But this time l is equal to l so we can do our inside loop. And so the next in inside iteration i is j is pointed at 1 and i is still pointed at 2 and l is still equal to l so we can keep move on next our inside iteration this time uh, j is pointed at 2 but this 2 is j is equal to, j should equal to length, length uh, and minus 1 so it uh, run out of the range so we so we should uh, break and uh, we already find the needle right so we just return the I, I this time is also still pointed at 2. So uh, the, the third and the fourth situation, the h at i plus j is equal to n at i. So this time we only do the inside iteration. So overall, this is our first situation. The needle which exists is found. OK, let's look at another situation. This time we need to find the BBA in the AAA. So as we can see, we run outside loop, i start from 0, 1, 2, 3. And uh, every time we just run the first uh, judgment, uh, bba's first uh, element, b, is not equal to a. So we just skip, 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 skip until we, the needle is run out of the haystack. So uh, in the this time, we just, we, we just break because the i plus length of n is bigger than the length of h, so we just break and uh, return mm, negative 1. So this is our second situation. The needle is not found, no element of the needle is match. Now let's try another variant, find AAB in the AAA. Now this time when we will run the inside loop, uh, j is pointer 0, a equal to a, so we just go to another step. j pointed at 1, a is also equal to a, so we just go to another inside loop. Uh, j is pointed at 2, but this time b is not equal to a, so we just break. So this inside loop will uh, keep 3 times until the i is pointed at 3. So this time the needle's length is run out of the uh, haystack's length, we just, we just break and return negative 1 means we don't find the needle. The needle doesn't exist. So this is our third situation. That means uh, no, all elements are matched. And this is the worst case. 
uh, the time complexity is O of n multiplied by n time. So let's implement the algorithm in Python. First, we need to judge the edge case if the length of the needle is zero. That means zero is empty list, and no zero inside it, we just return zero. And if the haystack is zero, if the length of the haystack is uh, zero, we just return, what do we return? Because if haystack is zero, that means there can, can't be, can be found, we just return negative one, and uh, we can start our uh, outside loop, right? Because our, our fini we finish the outside loop for i in range, we get we set the outside pointer uh, along the length along the haystack, so it's in the range of haystack, and uh, uh, first we need to consider if the i plus length of the needle is is a greater than the length of haystack. That means it round the that the needle is is almost uh, out of the range of haystack. We just break. So this will be before and before the and before the point i. And so we can start our inside loop for j. J is our uh, inside loop, i is our outside loop, j in range, uh, length of the needle, needle, j in the range of length of the needle. So this is a, a loop inside the needle. If haystack, uh, i plus j is not equal to needle, uh, j, it will break. That means every every uh, every element in in the needle should equal to i plus j, so it will keep keep it will don't break, it will keep keep move on the j pointer until it, it is not equal it will it will break. So that means we should always uh, let all the element in the needle equal to equal to the the corresponding hashtag haystack element. So then if the j is meet the length of needle minus one, that means the last element. If the j meet the last element, we just return. We just return the uh, pointer i, the outside pointer to the outside pointer i so give give us the information well where is our needle? First needle, it is at the, uh, it is at the pointer i, and then we are done. We just return negative one because if we run this outside, this out, this inside, or uh, this outside loop, and inside loop didn't find didn't find the needle, we should uh, return negative one. That means we don't find even if we run the these two these two net state loop we didn't find the needle so we just return negative one so that is how it works